Welcome back to Behind the Brand, a new ILTV series where we are bringing you special products that are amazing for your body, your health, and your mind, and the female entrepreneurs who created them. If you're anything like me, you love finding unique products that are making a difference, and today's guest is doing just that. Also, if you're anything like me, you do not want to go work out because you're worried that you are going to mess up that shampoo or that blowout that you just had. And so when I heard about Carrie Sporer's product, I was in. I'm like, this girl is talking to me because how many workouts do we miss because we don't want to get our hair sweaty? Yep, I know you're with me. Carrie, welcome to the show. Thank you so much for having me. I'm really excited to be here. And I'm being honest, when I first heard of this product, I thought to myself, she knows me. She's talking to me because how many times do I want to go for a run or I want to go to hot yoga, but I just wash my hair? I'm like, well, I can't go today. (laughs) So give us the background of how these hair products came to be. Yeah, absolutely. Um, You know, I have the same problem and many um, other people do that you um, choose between working out and your hair, which feels really, really frustrating. Um, So I actually started the brand um, about three years ago with my co-founder, Meredith Krill, and we met way back in 2007, training for the New York City Marathon. And we were really frustrated that we had to wash our hair in the shower after every sweaty training run. Right. And um, <laughs> we also started doing some boot camp classes together, some yoga, and we actually would get in trouble from the workout instructors for leaving class early because we always wanted to be the first ones in line for the shower because we needed to wash our hair and dry our hair and style our hair. So <laughs> uh, this product truly came from personal need. Oh, girl. Now, okay, let's be honest. These are first world problems, but they are they are real. When you're running from one thing to the other, you're shuffling between kids and work and you know, going out to dinner. The last thing you want to do is worry about, oh my gosh, I have to go wash my hair again and do the whole thing. So let's talk about, you have two products here. What are the difference between the two products and what can we expect them to do for us? Yeah, so we have... Um two products. There's showerless shampoo, which is our in-between product. So basically um, when Meredith and I were having this issue of sweaty hair and needing to wash it in the shower, um, the only thing on the market to address like kind of dirty hair is dry shampoo. And dry shampoo doesn't work on any real amounts of sweat. I don't know if you've ever (laughs) put like baby powder or baking soda with water, it just turns to like gunk. Ick. And that's exactly yeah. what's happening on your head with dry shampoo. If you have any real amount of moisture. So we started calling labs to create a product that actually would remove the dirt and the sweat. So it's completely different from a dry shampoo. And it kind of bridges that white space between dry shampoo and washing your hair in the shower. So you spray it on, you towel dry it off, and that process actually removes the dirt and the sweat. And then you can just blow dry any excess moisture, you know, the water component of sweat, and you're good to go. So it takes a lot less time than, you know, a traditional in-shower shampoo, condition, dry. So it's a real shortcut. We like to say that showerless shampoo takes you from sweaty to ready in five minutes or less. Ooh, I like it. Now you're going to have to shower anyway, because if you're a sweaty mess, then you're going to have to get in the shower. But at least you don't have to thoroughly wash your hair. Again, it's the drying and the styling as well. I'm going to get out and my hair is a sweaty mess. I'm going to put this on my hair, towel dry it, and just blow dry it as usual. Yeah. And you actually just need a tiny bit of product for the best results. So you just need a fine mist. So that small bottle in front of you actually lasts three months. So you get a lot of value. (laughs) I'm glad that you said that. And Carrie, by the way, great name, great name. Um, When I first saw the packaging, I was surprised by how small it was. I will be honest. I was like, oh my gosh, they're so small, but they're really, they're really condensed, right? Like you don't need a lot. And this one bottle will last three months. Yeah. Is that if I use it once a week or how often, how often could I use it every day? Yeah. If you use it regularly, most of um, our customers use the product about four times a week and um, that will get you through three months. You just need probably like six or seven sprays for your whole hair with like the length of your hair. I can probably get away with a little bit less because I just chopped off a lot of my hair. (laughs) That had to feel good, right? (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> what was surprising to me too, okay, I even grabbed I even grabbed the postcard in the packaging because when I read about how much water we use 
in a shower. And it's very funny, Carrie, because when my daughter is taking a shower, I'm very aware of the amount of water that's going down the drain. <laughs> but I'm not as aware when I'm in the shower myself. And when I was reading this, it says, um, if a normal shampoo takes you three minutes, let's be honest, probably more, you're saving a minimum of six gallons of water every week. That's 312 gallons a year. That's a lot of water. It's a lot of water. Um, it's something that we're really proud of. And it's also bringing in a whole new customer and interest into the product for people that um, either are looking to save water or may not have access to water, whether it's oh, they're that. doing something yeah. leisure, like going camping, or if they're, um, you know, in an area of the country or the world that um, doesn't have a lot of access to water or they're looking to limit their water. So Carrie, you got the idea for this product after you left your full-time job and became a consultant. Hmm. Now I know there's a woman out there right now who has a dream and has a vision and she has what I call an investor, which is a nine to five job that she is ready to leave. Do you think you would have got this idea if you didn't take that big leap and leave your nine to five job? So I definitely had the idea before leaving my nine to five job just because it was a pain point, but I don't think that I really would have pursued it um, with such enthusiasm if I was still, you know, working a nine to five job, um, truly just because of time constrictions with, um, or time constraints, because I have two kids and, you know, working a full-time job. And when I was consulting, I was able to have a little bit more flexibility in my schedule, uh -huh. um, you know, and the times that I was in a nine to five and maybe using times for meetings or collaborating with other people. When I was consulting, I just had a lot more time time um, to be excited about my own project. And really from working with a lot of entrepreneurs while I was consulting, it really gave me the courage, like I can do this because I was working with all of these other wonderful women that had been pursuing their passions and I was helping them. Yeah. And then I realized I was really passionate about this idea. Um, so I was just inspired by my clients at the time being like, they went for it. I'm going to go for it. Oh, so good. We need that. We need to be around other entrepreneurs that say, you can do this too. So thank you for sharing that. I just feel like there's a lot of women out there that have these great ideas. And I will tell you, you know, whether you're in a corporate job or you have, you know, the investor, the nine to five, I, I know a lot of people that will work all day and then they come home and work on their dream at night. But sometimes we need that space, Carrie, to, to create and step into what's next. So thank you for leading us in that. Um, all right. Now I want to, I like to know the nuts and bolts behind the story. So you have this great idea. How in the world did you figure out the product, the formulation? the packaging. We don't need to talk at length about it, but for someone who has a great idea, how did you start going about formulating the product? Yeah. So we like to say that we Googled our way to success. <laughs> um, my co-founder and myself, neither of us have any sort of chemistry background, um, beauty industry background. And um, there's a lot of imposter syndrome that happens on a daily basis mm -hmm. uh, with the brand. But, um, you know, we just started looking up different labs and we put together a brief um, which we found the example of online, basically describing what we wanted in our dream product. The one thing that was truly missing from our get ready routine, a quick way to clean sweaty hair. And, you know, just talking to labs, they either got it, which was uh, very few of them, or they didn't get it, <laughs> right. which was most of them. Um, and then, you know, just through explaining our idea and people's reaction and enthusiasm, um, it was really easy to pick a lab because we just connected with one chemist who thought that our idea was as amazing as we thought. It was. <laughs> and, um, you know, just knowing that somebody was that passionate and, you know, he also said, I know how to do this for you. I have ideas um, for the formulation. So, um, you know, I love it. it, it Googled, was... Googled her way to success, right? Everything is, <laughs> is Googleable. And I'm also asking, you know, our clients so much is, are you foundable? Yes, I make up words, but can we find you? So let's talk about the marketing behind this product, Carrie. Like this wasn't your background. You were doing consulting. How did you take this to market? What have you done to get this in the hands of the amazing women out there that need it? Yeah, there's so many different things that we've been doing. And to be honest, the marketing piece is by far the most overwhelming because there's so many different directions and so many um, ideas and, you mm -hmm. know, limited funds and limited time. But one thing that we've done that's been really instrumental is connecting with fitness instructors to be brand ambassadors. And um, some of their communities are quite small. Some of them are 10, 20, 100,000 people large, but um, their followers are 
really interested in the products that they're using, especially when it directly relates to like their fitness and their post-workout routine. Um, So just, you know, basically through Instagram, um, finding different fitness instructors and connecting with them. um, And again, seeing who's excited about the product, who wants to test the product. um, That was one of the first things that we did. Um, We definitely use paid ads. You know, we're one of those sponsored posts that when you're scrolling throughout the day, um, you know, you may see an ad for swear products. um, And that's been really great just to get discovered. Um, Mm -hmm. You know, you have to pay to play a little bit, if I'm being completely honest. (laughs) No, thank you for being honest, because you do. You do have to pay to play. And there's nothing wrong with that. It it always kind of just mind boggles me that there's so many women out there or product-based brands that don't realize the power of advertising. It's different than marketing and we need both to be able to reach our target market. And let me tell you, being a fitness instructor for 25 years myself, that is a genius collaboration because your hair is sweaty and you have about 20 to 50 students in your class that have sweaty hair too. And it's predominantly female. So love that, super smart. Carrie, what's next? Are you gonna keep it just these two small products or how are you going to expand Swear? We have so many different ideas for products. We have a huge pipeline that we're, you know, getting ready to start to formulate and put into production. Basically, if we're having this conversation in five to seven years, I'm hoping that we're going to look like the Lululemon of the hair and body space, Ooh, where you know yeah. we are the products that you are putting on your hair and your body when you're wearing that athleisure, whether you know you're working out or you're hanging out. Especially the showerless shampoo, it has such a diverse range Mm -hmm. of use. So, you know, we talked a little bit about water saving, but we've also started to um, work with different um, mental health organizations where for some people it's like difficult to motivate to get in the shower and wash their hair um, and clean, you know, clean their hair and body. So we've been working um, to give away and um, provide access to our products for just people that it could be like a little bit of a pick me up or a way um, for some self care um, in a more meaningful way. And also people that are um, for physical reasons can't take a traditional shower, whether it's Mm -hmm. um, a permanent situation or a short term situation. Um, So we're looking to partner with um, some different um, maternity facilities, um, different um, hospitals, rehabs, that sort of thing. So we want to really grow our product assortment. And then with Mm -hmm. showerless shampoo in particular, we feel like there's just so many other audiences we can reach. Yeah, there is, Carrie. And when I read that about your product, it just, it's such a great way to support those those people that are not able really to take a shower on on a regular basis. We take those things for granted, don't we? What easy access we have. So yeah, absolutely. And those are certainly our most touching reviews or um, emails that we've gotten, you know, throughout the three years we've been in business. I have, I can't tell you a specific story about someone who's like, oh, it's great. I ditched my dry shampoo and I love this product. We get those often, but the ones that I like can truly remember are the ones that um, it's impacted people's lives from like a real physical or emotional perspective, mm. um, enabling them to just feel good about themselves because they're able to clean their hair, which, you know, sounds like such a little thing, but if it's something that's suddenly made easy, it's a real game changer. Yeah, most definitely. Most definitely, Carrie. Now, you said something earlier on that I just want to address really quick because being that we support female entrepreneurs and being visible and really showing up more powerfully online and off That imposter syndrome is something that comes up quite a bit. You mentioned that you struggle with that and Meredith as well. How how do you work through that imposter syndrome and what has that been like for you when you go to networking events and you're going to founders meetings? Like has that shown up or what else has shown up for you in those environments? Yeah, it definitely shows up. I think that on one hand, uh, something that I love to do is through networking groups, work with founders who are just starting out. And that kind of reminds me that I am an expert in certain <laughs> right. things even when I forget. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, so if I'm talking with someone who's like, how do I trademark my brand? How do I find a lab? How do I make packaging? Like these things I've figured out and um, am able to, you know, pay it forward to the people who are behind me because I would not be where I am, swear would not be where it is without the generosity of other founders sharing their knowledge. Mm. Um, And when it comes to, you know, the imposter syndrome, when I'm in a room of like some heavy hitters or people with brands that every single person would know, um, it's really just reminding myself that I'm on a journey that I'm taking one step at a time. Um, I've made a ton of progress 
and trying instead of feeling like an imposter or feeling like a student and just mm-hmm. reframing it has been really helpful. Oh, thank you for sharing that. And I love what you said. You know what? You just need to be two steps ahead. We often think like we have to be this great expert or we have to be nationally known, but you can help so many people just being two steps ahead. And you go, I do know stuff. I am good at what I do. So Carrie, I appreciate you. Your smile is so beautiful, by the way. I am hooked (laughs) on these products. They allow me to go to yoga, my friend, and pick up. I picked up running lately, which is a whole nother conversation. Uh, We'll see if that lasts. And if that doesn't last, what it will is the swear products. (laughs) They will last. So thank you so much for being with me today. Any last notes you want to share with our audience? Any like greatest lesson that you've learned or piece of advice that you'd want to share? Yeah, I think that the biggest thing that is my mantra with Meredith that we have to say back and forth to each other multiple times a day is just everything is figure outable. Um, and I've used it in business and I've used it in life. Um, just kind of taking a breath, breaking things down into bite-sized pieces. Um, we've really tackled some things that felt really crazy, um, like things like finding investors, which is a journey that we're on now, um, yes. or you know, things in my personal life and really just taking it step by step. Um, everything is figure outable. So I'll pass that on to you. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much, Carrie. Yes, everything is figure outable. Thank you and Meredith for creating a product that every girl and man can use um, to, you know, to, to feel good all week long and to go out there and get the exercise that we need. And I love what you're doing in the mental health space as well, Carrie. So thank you again for joining us today on Behind the Brand. Thank you so much for having me. It's been wonderful. Uh, amazing. And thank you. Thank you so much for also being a part of this Behind the Brand episode. If you want to get your hands on these amazing products, and let me tell you, you absolutely do. It will change your workout routine. Go to shopinspired.tv where we have special discounts just for you, just for you, our Inspired Living community as a way to say thank you. And if you are excited about this product or any other Behind the Brand product, please take a moment to share and subscribe so you do not miss an episode because every single one I bring you is thebomb.com and you don't want to miss one. All right. Again, thank you to Carrie. Thank you to Meredith who couldn't join us today. And thank you for being a part of this beautiful community. And always remember to keep dreaming it, living it, and being it.